Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Hey guys, hope you're going well and welcome back to another Foreign Film Friday where the first Friday, nearly the first Friday of every month, we talk about a new release foreign language film. The Oscars are right around the corner. They're actually happening this coming weekend. So it's very fitting that today's movie, The Square, is nominated in the best foreign language film category. The Swedish director, Ruben Ostlund, his previous film, Force Majeure, just missed out on getting the nomination a couple of years ago. So I'm very pleased to see him in the mix this time around. As a quick aside, if you haven't seen Force Majeure, I did review it a few years ago. Incredible film which dissects that fight or flight moment in the film. This avalanche is coming towards this family at a ski resort and in the survival instinct mode, the father just like gets up and runs away because he's so panicked and he leaves his wife and child, like children, behind to die. They don't end up dying, it's a false alarm, but then he has to like carry that guilt around with him and it's super awkward. It's amazing. Director Ruben Oslund likes to like go big and broad with his art indie film studies. And let me tell you with The Square, it is no exception. Here we are looking at, in the broadest stroke, you could probably say societal prejudices, uh, prejudices societal prejudices against the upper class and uh, wealthy elite. The film follows Christian, played by Klaas Bang, who is a chief curator at a Stockholm museum. He's intelligent, he's charismatic, and he's obviously very successful in his career. So what happens is he gets robbed one day, walking down the street, he loses his phone and he decides because of pride, because of ego, he's gonna track down the thief who stole his phone. There is something very deliberate and almost comical about this well-dressed intellectual type man skulking the hallways of this dodgy apartment building, wearing like a bomber jacket and like stuffing threatening notes into people's mailboxes. Now the film takes its title from the name of one of its modern art exhibitions by this fictional artist and sociologist who's created an exhibition called The Square, which is a big LED physical square on the ground. And this square represents a communal and safe space. And the artistic statement is that when you're within the square, everyone is equal in a humanitarian type of sense. We are all humans, we are all one and the same. So that is the concept of this artwork within this modern museum that Christian is the chief curator of, and he is a supporter of this um, installation art piece. The film is really taking this black and white, uh, almost a comical approach to showing how this highbrow artistic community are all trying to be quite intelligent and looking at uh, the human condition and the world around them and how they can explore this through modern art and installation yet walking down the street every day when people are actually there in front of them asking for actual help they just walk by and ignore it. It's fair to say that this film is more on the highbrow side of things. It's dealing with very large scale themes of capitalism, of elitism, of morality, all through this lens of art. And Christian, he's not a bad person. He is just as misguided as the rest of them. He thinks he's a good guy. He wants to do the right thing, but at the same time, he's very comfortable in his wealthy lifestyle. One scene that I absolutely loved was when he goes into a convenience store and a homeless woman asks him to buy her a sandwich because she's hungry. And he's a good guy, so he's like, of course, I'll buy you a chicken sandwich. And he goes to the counter to buy her this sandwich and then she interjects and says, actually, no onions. And Christian like cannot believe the audacity of this homeless woman who's got absolutely nothing and he is going out of the goodness of his heart to buy her a meal that she's gonna stand there and go, I'll have the meal, but no onions. So what, what's the word? I, I don't know, he's so like put off by her request by her demand for no onions that he's like screw it gives her the chicken sandwich and says pick the onions out yourself that embodies christian to an absolute t he wants to be good but just is going about it in a really prideful way elizabeth moss also has a part in this film and when she is on screen she is 
just glorious in every single second she's on screen. I love her so much. There's a moment that's actually featured in the trailer where she's interviewing him and just trying to understand what it is that he does. Mm. For instance, if we took your bag and placed it here, would that make it art? Ah. Okay. But is it art? Think about it. But is it art? But is it art? Just think about it. If I was to take your purse from your hand and put it on a pedestal in a museum, is it art? The Square really is a film that asks you to really dig deep and really think big. And it's got some grand questions to ask and goes about it in quite a darkly comical, funny and awkward way. Ruben Ostlin has a way with drawing out tense moments and that awkwardness out of holding scenes for longer than you want them to go. A lot of this does feel a little bit like a performance art piece in itself. A lot of the scenes feel quite sparse and uh, strung out. The moments do play out in real time and at two and a half hours in length, there is a lot here that the film is asking you to sit and digest. I really loved The Square while it was very difficult to watch in some of those cringe, awkward, long moments, especially when one particular scene starring Terry Notary, who does this uh, gorilla performance at a black tie event and just harasses these wealthy black tie clad benefactors at this buffet and just will not relent on his performance to the point of it crossing the line and ceasing to be performance and becoming harassment. That scene is a masterpiece. It is worth watching the film for that scene alone. That is it from me guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Do leave me your comments in the comment section down below. Have you gotten a chance to see this film? Is it one that would maybe interest you if you put your handbag in the museum accidentally? Do you think somebody walking past would think it's art? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep up to date with all things movies and TV. Do as well. Turn that little bell icon on so you can stay notified every time that I post a new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.